Welcome to day eight of the 10 days of Gen AI. Today we are covering embeddings. Imagine a library. Traditional IT systems organize books like a filing cabinet by titles, genres, author names, could be called keywords, labels, and categories. This works well for simple searches, but what if you want to find something similar to a book that you loved, even if it doesn't share the same keywords? This is where embeddings come in. Embeddings are like special maps for AI, where different areas represent different meanings. Instead of just keywords, AI analyzes the content of a book, text, characters, plots, and then places it on this map based on its overall meaning. Think of it like summarizing a book in a single point on this map. Books with similar themes, ideas, or even writing styles would be placed closer together. And this allows AI to find similar books quickly and efficiently, even if they don't have any matching keywords. Here's an example. Imagine you loved a book about a courageous young detective. Using embeddings, AI can find other books on this map that are close by, even if they are titled The Mysterious Castle or The Secret of the Talking Parrot. These books might be similar because they share themes of mystery, bravery, or even a young protagonist, even though the keywords themselves are different. Now, in short, embeddings allow applications to understand the deeper meaning behind the content, not just the surface level keywords. This opens doors to powerful use cases like better search, finding similar content, even if the exact keywords don't match. Recommendations, recommendation products, articles, or music based on similar themes and ideas that you enjoy. Text analysis, you analyze large amounts of text data to understand sentiment, topics, or trends. In conclusion, embeddings are a powerful tool that unlock new ways for AI to understand and navigate the world of this too much information, just like the map helps you find a perfect book in a vast library. Join me in the next video where I will cover vector search and vector databases where embeddings are stored. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and follow so you don't miss the next one.